Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning with... to show you some pictures what I want you to do is tell me what is it and what is it doing okay ready okay here's the picture number one correct it's a boy maybe running or walking okay how about the next picture you are correct it's a bird that is flying how about the next picture <laughs> a running horse very good so that boy is moving or not yes it is how about the bird how about that horse yes children these pictures are examples of living things can you say that you say living things we are going to learn about the living things today now i will tell you what are the characteristics of living things? How would we know if it's a living thing? And these are the characteristics of living things. First, look at this. Children, living things move on their own. Can you say that? Living things move. They can walk, they can run, they can fly, they can do many movements without even helping them move. Look at that dog. Look at that boy. They can do whatever they want to do. Because living things can move on its own. Okay, how about the next picture? Living things. Look at that. Mm, can you see that? See, from a baby, now it becomes a boy. And then a grown-up baby. Now a grown-up girl. See that? Living things grow. Can you see that? Living things grow just like you you were once little babies now you are little boys and little girls and soon you will become brothers and sisters and you will become daddies and mommies and we will become lolo and lola or grandpa and grandma because living things or living beings grow let us have some examples of more living things that grow look at this one wow see that this plants grow from a little seed, it will grow little by little, and some of it will become big, tall trees. How about the next picture? See that? That chicken is an example of a living thing that grows. From an egg, it will become a chick, and then will become a little hen, and then will lay eggs soon. Living things, so we said that living things move, living things grow. Now, now let's have another characteristics of living things. Look at this monkey. Yes, this monkey is eating banana because living things eat. Hey, that monkey is eating banana. Look at that boy eating a lot because living things or living beings need to eat for us to stay alive, okay? Next, look at this. Living things breathe. You say breathe. Look at this dog and, and this girl. Children, we breathe in oxygen and that air that comes out of our mouth is called carbon dioxide that is being breathed in by the plants. The plants need that kind of carbon dioxide and that is what helps them to grow as well. So living things like plants, people and animals are breathing. Okay, can you try breathing? You do inhale. An exhale. See? Let us have another characteristic of living. Living things. What do you notice? Reproduce. You say reproduce or become many. It started with the mom and the dad. And then we'll have another baby and more. Because living things reproduce or get many. Like this hen. Look at that. It will lay eggs and we'll have chicks and you will have from, from one chicken, you will have two, three and more chicken. 
also look at this goat. This goat will have a baby and that baby when it grows it will have another baby and then so on and so forth because living things become many or reproduce. The plants as well kids they reproduce. Look at this plant. This is a strawberry plant. Once you have it it is called a runner. It will have shoots and new set of leaves and new set of plants will come out. Look at this tree. It will have seeds and once it's there on the ground, another set of trees will grow. Because plant is an example of a living thing. Now, let us go back to the different characteristics of living things that we had learned a while ago. So what are those? Living things move. Can you do that? You say move. Next, living things grow. Living things breathe. You say breathe. Living things eat. And living things reproduce. Can you say that? Reproduce. Wow. So those are the five basic characteristics of living things. Now with those five characteristics, I am going to show you pictures. Tell me if it's a living thing or no. Are you ready? Let me see if you're ready. Is this a living thing? Put a check or X. Let's have the first picture. It's a butterfly. Butterfly. Check or X. Is it a living thing or no? It's a check. It's a living thing, of course. Very good. Okay, number two. Do you think that's a living thing? What do you think? Does it grow? Does it reproduce? Does it move on its own? Let's see. Very good answer. It's no, no, no. That's not a living thing. How about the car? Look at this car. Yes, it moves. But it is being moved by an engine and a gas. How about... Hmm, does it grow? Does it eat? Okay, that's another X. A car is not an example of a living thing. How about this cow? Look at that cow with the grass on its mouth. Hey, is it a living thing? Yes, it is. It's a check, another check. How about this fish? Is it a living thing? Yes, definitely yes. Another check for that. Now I know that you had understood the lesson very well. You did a great job, kids. I am so proud of you and I'm so happy. Always remember, kids, the different characteristics of living things. And then, when you look around you, you would know if it's a living thing or not. Please don't forget about that. I hope that you had learned something about the living things today. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Bye. God bless you.